el gran impacto de la desaparición de Emiliano Sala en el Cardiff. El club que había hecho su fichaje histórico para tenerlo en su equipo está destrozado, con daños grandísimos, con un entrenador que de la tristeza plantea renunciar y con un plantel que está con psicólogos para poder sobrellevar el dolor, la tristeza y la crisis que están sintiendo. Ya pasó más de una semana que el avión que trasladaba a Emiliano Sala desde Nantes hacia Cardiff desapareció de los radares mientras volaba sobre el canal de la mancha. El director técnico del Cardiff, que tiene la misión de escapar de las zonas del descenso, habló de cómo llevan en la intimidad todo lo que se está viviendo por la desaparición de Emiliano, su inacabable dolor y su última charla con él. Uh, from my own point of view, um... I've been in football management now um, 40 years, I think now, and uh, it's by far the most difficult week in my career, by an absolute mile. It's um, the traumatic, you know, I can't, um, even now I can't get my head around uh, the situation and, um, you know, when I look at Romino and the family, etc., etc., I think it's, uh, it's such a, a difficult time, I think you've got to, You know, I keep looking at my own children and and uh, and thinking what I would be doing now as well. So it's a it's a, a very traumatic for area, but my sympathies are with them. I think uh, I think the the family has been fantastic. And Emiliano, we you know we, we came to the training ground last uh, Friday afternoon before we set off to uh, to Newcastle, and I had a few words with him then. But um, um, it's been in some a somber mood all week. I've never, you know, like I say, from a personal point of view, I've never experienced anything like it. And uh, it's it's been amazing how the knock on with the players, the, the uh, in training as well. So it's um, it's un, unknown territory. I think that's how I would say it because it, it you know things like this just don't happen. Or... El director técnico fue clave para que Sala aceptara el traspaso al club galés. Incluso había viajado a Francia para convencerlo. Whilst I say I've had to use all my experiences, it's probably hit me harder than anybody else because I've met the lad and talked to him for the last six or eight weeks uh, on numerous occasions and uh, and know how he, how, how, what, how he was looking forward to this. I think he came down to see me. He came to the training ground on his halfway through his medical on on uh, Saturday, on Friday, sorry. As we were preparing, I went across to see him for two or three minutes, and uh, I just said to him, um, you know, looking at his gear that he was wearing, I said he'd fit in very well with my team. He had uh, holes everywhere in his trousers and looked like a tramp. And I said he'd fit in very well with our team because we've got quite a few like that. Um, and that's the one, the memory I love, you know, because we had a laugh and, you know, He said, I'll score you the goals. And I said, I know you will. Um, and uh, and then it was, you know, off. You know, I do keep thinking back when I, you know, I, I did say to him, you know, why don't you come up to Newcastle and watch the lads play tomorrow and have a look. And, you know, um, not asking yourself, should I have made him come? Because it's all right after the event, isn't it? But, you know, he wanted to go back and see his teammates and uh, and family and and get his belongings for the following week so uh, you know that's what happened but we you know just uh, thanked him and and off we went you know you know when you've worked hard for two months to get somebody like that uh, uh, and uh, you know you really feel like I did on the Newcastle game I felt you know this is a turning point in that respect so they are massive blows but um You know, I think we'd all agree that we'd rather have Emiliano here and, and, and get relegated. And do you know what I mean? And um, I think life's far more important than, than football in that respect. Ante el Arsenal, los integrantes de la delegación y los aficionados lucieron un narciso amarillo, flor que representa un símbolo para Gales, un lindo y emotivo homenaje a Emiliano Sala. También se desarrolló un minuto de silencio como en el resto de los encuentros de la Premier League y el buen gesto del Arsenal de agregar a Emiliano en la lista de convocados del Cardiff.
Paralelamente sigue el conflicto entre Cardiff y el Nantes por tema de dinero. El club galés pagará lo que sea debido por Emiliano Sala una vez que hayan establecido todas las respuestas y puedan determinar todos los hechos. Cardiff dejó muy en claro que no tenía nada que ver con los arreglos del vuelo, así que en caso que Emiliano no aparezca, el seguro cubriría apenas un 50% del total del pase y del contrato por tres años que la escuadra había firmado. La verdad, entre tanta tragedia, no me parecería buen momento para que los dos clubes entren en ese conflicto. Pero bueno... Mientras tanto, la familia de Emiliano, gracias a los fondos aportados por futbolistas, gente relacionada al fútbol, fanáticos y donantes anónimos, la búsqueda privada continúa, pero a partir de hoy, solo bajo el agua. Luego de haber recorrido toda la superficie donde era posible que esté vivo, lastimosamente, como avisaron ayer, ya buscan encontrar simplemente sus restos.